Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here. Welcome to today's video. So today's video is entitled Optimizing Your Kernel for Gaming. Now, throughout this Linux Mint tutorial series, I'll try and pick topics which will help you get the best out of what is, in my opinion, one of the most awesome operating systems on the planet. Yes, there's a gazillion of the distros, but there's very few completely well-rounded operating systems the likes of Linux Mint. So this is why I'm really getting behind it and promoting it and trying to help you guys and girls out. Okay, so as you know, my primary function on this PC is gaming. And I've already covered, if like me, you've got an all AMD PC. I've already covered using the Mesa drivers. So here you can see that um, I'm using an AMD uh, for motherboard and I'm using an AM4 CPU, the Ryzen 5 1600 6 core 12 thread processor. And we've also got ourselves a cheap Chinese AMD RX 580 2040 8SP, uh, which is the cut down bandwidth version of the RX 580. I did have a bit of a scare uh, a day or two ago yesterday uh, when I thought the PC had just died. It wasn't, it just wanted a good clean. And I removed a dodgy case fan as well. I am going to go ahead and order a brand new power supply for it. Uh, the RX 580 is absolutely fine. The CPU and RAM are fine and the drives are fine. I have also added another one terabyte HDD just for video storage to the system. Why the hell not? So I've already had a couple of comments. Uh, I guess you're going to recommend the Zen kernel, this, that and the other. Um, no, I'm not actually. I'm going to recommend a kernel to people who want to optimize the Linux Mint for gaming. The kernel that Linux Mint comes with is fine. It's stable. It's reliable. But it's old and it's not really optimized for gaming or for latency. Which if like me, you're an online gamer, uh, it's not so important for me because... I don't play competitive first-person shooters like Counter-Strike, etc. But I do enjoy my World of Warships and World of Warplanes, and those are online. And look, if you get lower latency, then you're getting a more enjoyable gaming experience. So the kernel that I would heartily recommend to you is the Zanmod kernel. Now, I personally have been using this for quite a while, um, I don't recommend the Zen kernel or any of the other kernels, and I have tried most of them. <coughs> Zanmod consistently gives me super low latency and high performance. So the only thing with Zanmod is, is, look, you do this off your own back at your own risk. This is what I do. I don't necessarily recommend that you do it. Okay, because Zanmod kernel installation requires a little bit of endeavor from you guys and girls. And if you suffer from acute CBA, i.e. you can't be asked, do not touch this with a barge pole. Just stay on this, the base kernel and you will be absolutely fine. However, the Zanmod kernel, um, it tells you here, it's a it's a general purpose Linux kernel with some custom settings and new features. Now it is solid, however, the installation is straightforward, but don't just blindly cut and paste and copy. So you can go ahead if you want to install the Zanmod kernel, you can go ahead and add the first two lines into your terminal one at a time press return because all this is doing is registering the pgp key and then adding the zanmod repository which is fine once you've done those two items you need to 
stop. You need to come down and you need to identify what family of CPU you are using. <clears throat> now, I am using a Ryzen 5 1600 AF, which is a 6-core 12 thread. And I have done my research and found out that I need the version 2 of the kernel. Now, this is why it's important, because by default, the version 3 of the kernel is selected. So if you open your terminal, paste it in, and just press enter, chances are you're going to get the wrong kernel. So for me to install mine, I needed to delete the 3 and change it to 2. Then press enter and go ahead and install your kernel now all the processes are listed here uh, so if you've got a really old cpu uh, an old cpu like mine a not so old cpu and a more up-to-date cpu then you need to make sure that you install the correct kernel and the correct kernel is x86 84 legacy if it's a really old cpu version 2 for all these families of amd and intel cpus version 3 for all these and version 4 for all these so you need to identify which category your cpu falls into and install the correct version of this kernel. Once you've identified the correct version, you can paste the last line in, reboot, and then hopefully you will be on a really nice super low latency Zan mod kernel. So if I just do a Neo fetch for you, you'll see that I'm using the 6.13.11 x64 version 2 zan mod 1 kernel and it has served me so so well however as a stat as i say i am just a casual gamer i'm not a competitive you know um super dedicated online professional gamer if you like i'm just your average everyday run of the mill home gamer but I wanted a little more performance out of my kernel than what the base kernel offers. So there you go, everybody. <clears throat> if any of you have a go with this, please let me know how you get on. If you followed yesterday's video and installed the Mesa drivers, follow today's video and install the Zanmod kernel, then you will find that your gaming experience will be delightful absolutely delightful again i just want to reiterate this is only pertaining to my all amd um, computer now although the zanmod kernel works fine with amd and intel cpus again it's aimed purely at the amd gpu if you have an nvidia or an intel gpu then it's a completely different matter from what was discussed yesterday i hope you find these videos useful um again i do speak to a lot of people very few people have heard of zan mod plenty of people have heard of zen kernel um nevertheless let me know if you do have a crack at it how you get on if you need any help hit me up on youtube and give me a shout give me a post underneath the video thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe thumb the videos up if you love it down if you hated it. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.